I'm standing here in front of the Lake of Urcos, uh, which is one that's near Cusco, heart of the Inca Empire. And it's always been considered sacred. Uh, the Incas built a tambo, one of the resting places nearby the lake, but bef way before that, there had been even the Wari civilization about 1,500 years ago that had built ceremonial centers uh, right on the edge of the lake on that side. But more importantly, the Incas built on top of the hill behind the lake a temple to the creator deity, Viracocha. Now, Viracocha only had a couple of temples that were built uh, throughout the empire, and this was one of the most important. basically constructed from very simple material, kind of a catamaran and in this box, waterproof, we have all the electronics which should not come in contact with any water like the GPS, the battery down here and the radio which will send the information via uh, radio to the computer. And this little tube which looks like nothing is the sonar which will, when once the catamaran is in the, in the water, we push it a little bit deeper so that the part down here is underwater and that emits the sound straight down and receives the echo. The signal goes via cable to the radio, gets to, uh, comes together with the GPS information, and is going to be is going to send to the to the computer in the shore. We're going to continue for days and hours of looking at that screen and saving everything. Now, for example, no? if that red heart structure would stop at a certain time and then we would repeat driving over it and afterwards, after creating the map, we would see a square or something, then we would have a structure. No? Right now from the profiles it's very difficult to say something. We have to make the combination of profile and afterwards the map. 
look at it from different angles and see if we can any, find any straight uh, structures. And the signals that you're hearing now are just the... That is just a low battery. <laughs> oh. That is because we use this battery and it's not connected to the plug. So the computer is protesting. Okay, uh, they're having problems because of the visibility. They can't really see uh, anything, and so they're going to feel their way along the bottom and uh, hope to come across the uh, structure that was noted in the sonar. So we'll just see whether they have any luck. It's, it's uh, difficult because not only, there's about zero visibility and there's a tremendous amount of sediment that's on top of anything. What we have is a backup diver in the raft and two divers who are doing the search. And then we have, of course, the guy in the kayak, which is, I guess, just having fun. No, no, no. We have been going down in front of the pediente, try to touch, goes up, goes down, comes a lot of stones. Yeah. We never reached 15 meters. Yeah. But you didn't reach any anything. I went into here. Yeah. Right, exactly. It's very deep, the uh, sediment. It's a... Uh, there are some stones, like banks of stones, but uh, we never reach 15 meters. Uh -huh. My soda tells me it's 15 meters. So there must be a sediment so soft that the soda doesn't even see it. Yeah, right. So if there's something, it's beyond us. It's beyond the, the upper layer of sediment. Well, the team was able to get back out onto the water today and get the sonar working. Unfortunately, 
during the night there was a something of a flash flood due to extremely heavy rains and it washed a lot of uh, material down into the lake and all of a sudden the site that had shown up on the sonar uh, disappeared. Uh, anyway they found uh, a couple other sites that they're going to check and uh, thus far not having a lot of luck. It looks like instead of actual walls these may be something else, something called, caused by vegetation or by the sediments and the movement that sometimes happens in the lake. Uh, and we'll just find out a little bit later. But uh, at least we're able to establish pretty much uh, the situation of the lake and, and the possibilities for doing some archaeological work. There's only a few spots where anything has stood out. And uh, if we can't find anything in those spots, then we'll pretty much have to give up. Uh, not because the Incas probably didn't make offerings here, but because when they did, they probably simply threw them into the lake and they're too small to register on sonar. Uh, the team right now is back behind me, almost on the far shore, looking for uh, one of the three meter high walls that we registered on sonar. And we'll see if they have any better luck uh, than they did at the other spot. Well, I uh, just got word from the walkie-talkie that it also turned out to be this uh, Totoro reed, sort of a mass of it, and I guess it's this creation of these masses which uh, leaves a reading on the sonar that looks like uh, it's some kind of structure. Uh, so I think that's uh, pretty much going to be a wrap for our work here. Yeah, it's like, 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 it's like